everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. The fridge is almost empty. There's only enough food for a day or two, so it's the perfect time to clean it out. And I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth so that I don't have to worry about chemicals mixing with the food. And I try to clean out the fridge before I restock because it goes much faster if the fridge is empty. <laughs> if the fridge is full, it takes more time to empty the fridge so the fridge stays open longer. But if it's empty, I can just shift a few things around instead of taking the time to move everything out. The food stays colder because it stays in the fridge, which helps to keep the fridge colder. I rinse out the organizers if they're full of crumbs or spills, but otherwise I just wipe them off with a damp microfiber cloth. And I try to spot clean any spills that I find to help keep the fridge clean, so that way it only takes a few minutes to wipe out the fridge. It's also a good time to reorganize the fridge. Then I try to group together the older foods so that we can make sure to use them first. And I won't dare to say, do you feel the same way? I don't always have the time to clean the entire fridge, so sometimes I just clean it in sections. And my husband was on his way home with the groceries today, so I decided to focus on the main part of the fridge. And the temperature of the contents impacts the temperature of the fridge. So when warm food goes into the fridge, it warms up the air even when the door is closed. So the fridge has to work harder. And today I was short on time because there were incoming groceries that needed to be put away. So I'm just giving the shelves a quick wipe down so the fridge doesn't doesn't warm up too much. The same way, then don't pretend. I've had so many requests for a grocery haul that I thought I would give it a try today. And this is what a typical Costco haul looks like. We shop at Costco at the end of the week, usually around Thursday or Friday, and then we'll go to the grocery store for whatever we can't find at Costco. And we buy organic whenever we can. And we try to avoid processed foods, grains, and dairy. But there are a few exceptions, like these grain-free crackers and the tortillas. I don't wanna waste my time. We always have avocados and bananas on hand as well as some other type of fruit and this week it's strawberries and grapes. I don't, I don't always wash and prep everything the same day. I usually just get everything put away in the fridge until I have more time, but I try not to wait for more than a day or two. Having everything washed and prepped makes it easier to prepare meals and it cuts down on the food waste. There's always a few things that always end up in the same place, but I don't really have a shelf that's designated for the same thing every week. I always keep the eggs and avocados on the top shelf, and the remaining shelves are for fruits and veggies. And I always keep the prep foods and the leftovers in the bottom drawer. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights We 
we've been so busy with projects the last few months that there wasn't a lot of time for lazy mornings, so it's been nice to have some time to get out of the house and walk the dogs in the mornings, but lazy mornings tend to turn into lazy days. <laughs> now that things have slowed down a little bit, I've been having a little trouble getting motivated and there's lots to catch up on and it didn't help <laughs> that I got a late start on the laundry this morning. I put the clothes in the washer and set the timer and completely forgot to push the start button. <laughs> So instead of transferring the clothes over to the dryer and washing the sheets, I had to wait for the clothes to wash and try again later. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I like to get the sheets in the wash first thing in the morning so that I don't have to wait all day to get the bed made. And once the washer was empty, I stripped the sheets so that I could get them in the washer. And the morning was half over by this time, so I straightened up the blankets and picked up the pillows while I waited for the sheets. To help keep the sheets from getting tangled up in the washer, it helps to shake them out and add them to the washer one piece at a time. And the more tangled up they are when they go into the machine, the more tangled up they are when they come out. I use vinegar in the rinse cycle instead of fabric softener. The vinegar removes the minerals and detergent that can make the fabric stiff and dingy. I did just about everything backwards today. <laughs> Cleaning the ceiling fan was the only thing that I wanted to get done. And the ceiling fan has been running non-stop and it hasn't been cleaned all summer. And there's always some dust that falls when I clean the fan. So I like to clean the fan before I wash the sheets. <laughs> but the late start had me focused on getting the sheets in the washer instead of dusting the fan. And if I remember to dust the fan every few weeks, I can use the duster and the extension pole and it only takes a few seconds. Seconds. <laughs> but when I saw how much dust there was, I knew that the duster was just going to make a bigger mess, so I had to get out the ladder. And since I had the ladder out, one thing led to another, and I ended up cleaning everything that I could reach with the ladder. Just 
This room is past due for its regular maintenance cleaning, and I usually take an hour and clean the entire room from top to bottom, but there are times when I just don't have the time, or in this case the motivation, to get things done all at the same time. And most of the time, if I just get started, I'm able to accomplish a lot more than I planned, but there are times when I just split the cleaning up over several days so that I can get everything done. And cleaning from the top down is the most efficient way to clean a room. And cleaning the top half of this room is always a challenge because of the height. But in this case, I'm also able to get the hard part out of the way. And because there isn't going to be a lot left to do, I'm more likely to pick up where I left off the following day. Occasionally, I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got needs. We have a heavy knockdown texture on the walls, so there's a lot of places for dust to collect. And dusting the walls is something that I do as part of my routine maintenance cleaning. And I use a duster with an extension to knock down any cobwebs on the ceiling and dust the walls. And this is something else that I did out of order. I usually dust the walls first so that I can clean up the dust that falls down to the lower surfaces. But I had the duster in my hand and this is an easy task that only takes a minute or so. So I decided to check it off my list. I wanna close my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture-perfect sky now And look so great cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like When your heart is shaking, when it bleeds If it's over, just say it have one day of the week that I dedicate to dusting and I usually dust the entire house at the same time. <laughs> but did I mention that lazy mornings lead to lazy days? <laughs> so I decided to just focus on the bedroom and take care of the rest in my normal schedule. 
just like a glove but i guess that's over now we've been playing here since 4 a.m and you haven't said a word to me mm. silent treatment this is what it feels like when your heart is days when I'm not feeling particularly motivated, I can always get a lot accomplished if I just do one thing and then use the momentum to do one more thing. So I needed to use the leaf blower to clean out the duster and a vacuum would work just as well, but I needed the blower to clean the patio. And since I had the blower out to clean the patio, I decided to clean the lampshades. While I was cleaning up outside, I discovered a little surprise hiding in this pot, and I'm not sure where he came from. We've never seen frogs in our area, but I was so happy to find him feeding on mosquito larvae. <laughs> but he was gone a few days later. I didn't get everything done in this room today, but I did get a good start on this room and a lot more done than I thought I would. And I still had to wait for the sheets to dry before I could get the bed made. And by this time, the clothes had finished drying, so I took a break to get them folded and put away so that I would be all cut up on the laundry. If the sheets get watered up and tangled up in the dryer, they won't dry, so I load the sheets in the dryer the same way that I load them into the washer, and I just separate each piece and untangle them so that they dry faster. Inside my room, mm -hmm. the heat's like a warm embrace. My bed feels like heaven. I lose track of time and space.
shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last. To It didn't take long to get the laundry folded and put away, so I took a break while I waited for the sheets to dry. And I washed two sets of sheets, so I have one set that I need to fold and put away. And I usually wash the sheets and put them right back on the bed, but it saves energy to wash and dry a full load of laundry. And anytime I start a new habit, it always feels like more work than I want to do. <laughs> and it's like going someplace that you've never been before. That first trip always seems to take forever, and you just feel like you made a wrong turn somewhere but if I stick with it it becomes second nature and I get it done without even thinking about it to get back the life I used to know. all in this has stand Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know common question I get is why so many pillows? <laughs> and the short answer is that it just makes me happy. And I don't mind the extra 30 seconds it takes to make the bed in the morning. I've actually timed it and it takes just over a minute to make the bed in the morning. And even if I don't have the time to do anything else, I still take that minute to make the bed. And at the end of a busy day, I'm always happy that I did. And our bed doesn't have much of a headboard, and I love the look of the upholstered headboard, so I use the large Euro pillows to create the illusion of that upholstered headboard. 
That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you a little motivation to work on something that you've been avoiding. And of course, remember to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today. And I hope to see you next time.